uh, since I'm pretty sure that uh, this is working I will just keep uh, putting some more seams before I start unfolding the part I will put a, a seam uh, under the neck as well since uh, it won't be seen much and uh, since you need uh, to have the face on its own and now let's uh, just w uh, choose a UV on the front part and uh, move it away in our UV editor um, and we notice that we got some uh, we have cut some uh, extra edges down uh, in the legs that we didn't want and we got some uh, long faces there that we we don't want uh, to be a part of of uh, this shell so we will just merge uh, those uh, edges first uh, a good reminder is to not to not to choose uh, the UV that's uh, in the end of the um, of the crack that you want to merge since that will end a uh, result in uh, merging uh, the complete uh, seam together um, you, would, you will get a better understanding of that when, when you're doing the UV mapping um, as you can see we don't want to mer merge that part in so I just press ctrl Z uh, since um, we want the front part for itself and then the back part for itself I will just uh, make a seam uh, in the middle of the legs and remove the long uh, polygons for now uh, from the UV space remove them from uh, my worker area I can just handle them uh, at the end since they are just uh, two polygons it's no problem um, now we can just uh, remove uh, the front part and press unfold and we already get uh, some pretty good results I would say uh, but th since this is the middle part of the body um, it's important to uh, have the middle edge uh, straight um, otherwise we can't merge the middle part and we will end up having a seam in the middle of the body uh, and that's no good at all so try to just select the border shell and um, deselect the parts that we don't want to move and then just uh, straighten them out uh, after that you can just uh, deselect those uh, UVs that you have straightened out and then just unfold the rest of the body and voila you get some uh, some pretty nice results after that and uh, you will be able to work with that and the checker pattern seem to be alright so we'll leave that part for now and uh, put put our mind into the back for now uh, let's use the shell for that and unfold it and as you can see there we got some good results as, as well uh, we'll, we'll choose um, the outer parts of the shell here as well and uh, try to straighten them out it's a good idea to have um, a good a good res uh, rotation for the part that you want to straighten out. Otherwise, you will just uh, end up descaling the um, distance between the UVs and uh, and uh, get some major disturbances. Uh, after that, we just do as we did in the front part and uh, just unfold it. 
and um, you can see the checker pattern is a bit bigger on the back than the front so we'll just scale it up another good way is uh, since the back is almost as big as the, the front we can just uh, take the whole uh, shell and uh, put it on the front side and see if the scaling is right uh, but first I just uh, relax the just um, unfold it inside to get some uh, less uh, distortions and now I'm doing the rescaling part try to choose the yellow marker uh, and scale in uh, both uh, dimensions and I'm putting the back on side for now um, let's try to merge it uh, made those uh, lower parts that we took away uh, before and you see that they're not working very well I think you need, we need to unfold those first maybe and try to rescale them a bit before we move and so and uh, I just noticed that the back was uh, upside down so I just rotated that and now I'm unfolding the lower part first and then I just move and sew it and try to get those uh, that uh, edge straight again. Um, I tried to unfold it, but uh, it, it got to scaled up. So it didn't look right. As you can see, I moved those a bit more in, um, and then when you press that button it will make them uh, move to the most outside UV and we know the most outside UV is straight therefore all the UVs will be at the right position and then just try to unfold the rest of it afterwards uh, and uh, I saw that we I had some uh, distortion so I tried to rescale it uh, manually but uh, I'm noticing now that the face uh, probably the faces are are too long and you can probably not uh, make them work that well so I will be merging some edges there and uh, trying to cut the middle of the leg a bit in the middle to get some uh, better results there. <laughs> 